Hi friends and welcome to global pandemic lockdown anxiety meditation with me, your friend. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll go over the ground rules again. I, I think that they're they're helpful. Um, first and foremost, this is not meditation instruction um, at all. If you happen to be watching this and you don't know me personally, um, and, uh, second of all, I would encourage you to find, um, uh, guided Anapana meditation instruction and follow that from, uh, a trustworthy teacher. Um, and as yesterday, we'll start with the discussion first and then 10 minutes of meditation afterward. Um, so someone asked <laughs> for uh, the question simply, why should I meditate and please provide a pithy response? Um, and I actually had uh, a note to myself from before I started these videos. Um, and that note is to always start with skepticism. So I think my, my pithy response is about as pithy as it could possibly get, which is don't, don't meditate. Um, you can always run these experiments in your life. Um, and you can try doing something or not doing something. Um, you can try a certain medicine and find out whether or not it works for you individually. You can try an exercise and find out whether or not you like it. You can try a certain sleep schedule and see if you feel more rested with that. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to tell a gross story now. <laughs> I lived in New York for a while and I was entirely on an expense budget. Um, and this wasn't an experiment, it, it, it was sort of a um, retrospective experiment. But one week, by chance, I happened to eat uh, a steak, mostly filet mignon, um, every night. So uh, we were eating something incredibly heavy for lunch, I forget what. Um, but then I would go out and I would eat a steak every day and the results were disgusting uh, I felt terrible and my digest digestion was um, completely unhappy um, and you can run these little experiments for yourself so you can take one week where you eat a lot of salad you can take one week or two weeks where you go running every morning and you see how you feel about it um, similarly with meditation you can take a week and meditate or two weeks and meditate every day and then you can take two weeks and stop and see what is the actual difference sometimes it helps to um, to journal your results so you have slightly more objective um, retrospective on what it was that you were actually doing and what it was that you were actually feeling um, it's difficult to do these kinds of experiments they're not really experiments right because they're time-based um, but uh, they're as close as you can get on the individual level um, to sort of chunk out one slice of time and then chunk out another slice of time and and segregate your activities between those two chunks of time in such a way that um, that hopefully you'll be able to see some noticeable difference um, so sometimes it can be something really um, obvious if you eat steak every day for a week you will feel terrible um, and a lot of these things we sort of know, right? We know that if we exercise, we feel better, we sleep better. We know that if we eat more vegetables, generally everything about our bodies um, is better all around. 
And similarly, we, we have enough scientific evidence at this point to know that meditation will have similar effects. Um, and so you don't really need to be convinced by the data. Um, but not everybody is going to go to the gym every day. Not everybody is going to start running marathons. And so when it comes to diet and exercise and similarly uh, a mental um, routine for yourself, you need to figure out what works for you. So um, in these videos, I'm recommending Anapana, um, breath meditation, because um, it is simple, it's well studied, it works. Um, but there are many meditation techniques out there and I would encourage you to explore for yourself. Um, another thing that you can do is to take actual courses. Um, so th this is the same difficulty um, that there exists with, with any choice in life. So um, if many of you are software developers. If someone says, oh, use this programming language, it's really good. Um, be honest with yourself. If you tried programming in a programming language for 10 minutes a day, twice a day, <laughs> it wouldn't matter how many weeks you were doing it. You would never learn that programming language properly and you would never get comfortable with it. Um, similarly, with exercise, if you're doing a seven minute a day exercise, you're, you're probably not going to understand your body any better. You're not going to really get the benefits of exercise. Um, and so it is with meditation um, or any other endeavor that you need to be educated externally because uh, meditation is not intrinsic. We don't know how to do this. Um, and the challenges that come up are non-obvious and the solutions are non-obvious so it helps to have a proper teacher um, so there are a number of ways to do this you can take a zen session um, my recommendation would be a 10-day vipassana course it's free um, it has no association with any religion um, and uh, it, it's volunteer based which is really helpful i think there, there are other uh, methods, other techniques. Um, these are the two that I've tried and found helpful, Vipassana more so. I wouldn't speak to other meditation techniques that I've tried because I haven't found them as valuable. Um, but there's always the option of an extended period of study where you go and you meet a teacher, um, preferably for free when it comes to meditation, and you practice and you learn how to meditate properly. Um, you're not going to do that 10 minutes a day. Um, 10 minutes a day is kind of a, it's a good way to get started, right? It's like, like I said in one of the earlier videos, it's like going for a long walk. Um, so that's my extremely verbose tail end to my pithy response of don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't meditate. And when I say don't, of course, what I mean is experiment. Um, so find out for yourself um, what is valuable to you. Um, okay, that is just under 10 minutes. So uh, we can get a 10 minute timer now. You can get your own timer as a backup. Or if you, uh, if you prefer um, to do a guided meditation elsewhere and just turn this video off now that's fine but um, I'd encourage you to be honest with yourself about doing that um, there is there's a great danger in uh, meditation as with as with exercise and as with diet <laughs> um, but especially with meditation that people can wind up talking about meditation a lot and not actually doing it. So make sure that if you are watching this video for 10 minutes, block out another 10 minutes today and actually do uh, meditation for yourself. Okay, 
10 minutes is starting now.
That's our 10 minute timer for today. Thanks for meditating with me and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.